Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to be doing a look that I did last weekend or a couple of weekends ago. It's quite a brown smoky eye. I loved it so much and a lot of people were commenting on it. So I thought I would do a tutorial today on it. I'm coming at you all natural. So this brown smoky eye look that I did really, really complements blue and green eyes, um, especially green. I've got a, like a little bit of a mixture and I really find it just makes the eye color just pop like so much. So let's get into it, shall we? I've already done my moisturizer off camera just so um, my skin has a chance for it all to sink in before I go into any makeup at all. I thought I'd do on camera this... Um, little razor thing that I bought recently from Priceline. It's the Flawless brand electric little razor. I don't know if you can see that. And you turn it on by flicking this switch up. And it's got a little light and you can hear the noise, obviously. Very annoying. <laughs> but it works really well. So I've got a little bit of like fuzzies coming back. Um, so yeah, for me personally, I like to use this tool to um, get rid of all the, the fuzzies around here, um, sideburns, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, sometimes I do like in between my eyebrows, my top lip, and it's really gentle. So what they say to do is just swirl it around in circular motions. Um, but it's really gentle. It doesn't hurt at all. Like I can hit myself. I can scratch. It doesn't hurt But it takes off the hair, which is amazing. So I'm just going to do this right now The reason why I like to get rid of all the fuzzies here. I just find the makeup the foundation lays on top of the skin a lot nicer when I don't know when all the hair here is gone Plus, I get like I have really blonde hair, so when it comes through, it's super like white and blonde. And when the sun hits you, you can see it, and it just I can't rock that look. Okay. I might start with eyes first, just because they're really dramatic, and I feel like. I will get heaps of fallout. And this is actually an all matte look, so I'm not gonna be using any shimmer on my eyes today. So what I used that weekend was the Morphe palette. Excuse the makeup. It's the Second Nature 3502 palette, and it looks like this. It is absolutely stunning. As you can see, it's some shades are very well loved. Well, I guess this look is very like fall. Um, or autumn kind of vibes. All right, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. I might zoom you guys in a little bit just for the eyes. Sorry if you guys hear my cats at the door. They are locked out because I can never let them in because they always play and make noise. And yeah, I'm obviously like trying to film, so. <laughs> They are at the door meowing and scratching. It's kind of scary, if I'm honest. <laughs> They're trying to break in. I'm just gonna set with Laura Mercier translucent powder, just slightly. I do the darkest color on the eyelid, not the crease. So I'm kind of like going in reverse. So I do the darker and then lighter and then lighter and lighter, like as I go up. And that makes for a really nice blown out smoky eye. I'm going to take the shade called Muddy. This one right here. I'm just using like a little flat packer brush. I'm just really going to pack this color on. Now this eye look is going to look crazy until it's done. So trust the process. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like you literally got punched in the face. It's going to look awesome after but yeah you will look like you've got crap on your eye now I sort of just go right up to where my eyelid like folds as you can see and I kind of stop there and I round it out out here on the outer corner I don't flick it out or 
do a wing like I did in my last tutorial. I keep it quite rounded. Now I'm gonna take a brush that looks like this. It's like a flat packer brush, but still got like a bit of fluff to it, which is perfect for blending like at the same time. So I'm gonna use that going over the edges of this dark muddy color um, with a lighter color to sort of blend out those edges. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Spice. Spice, which is perfect. I know like a majority of the world is in like fall right now, like autumn. I love autumn, it's like my favorite season. So when I see that like the shade color spice, I'm like, oh, it's so autumn. We had such a weird winter here in Australia. So I am looking forward to summer, but I just, I do love autumn. And not because my birthday's in autumn, <laughs> but I don't, I don't know, I just love the time of the year here. So just going along those edges, not winging it out, I'm keeping it really rounded around here. Now, because you're going over shadows a lot, it is a process of packing on the pigment, blending it out, packing it back on, blending it out. Like, it is a process like that. So this eye look does take a lot of patience. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be taking a fluffy end of this jewel ended brush, just like a blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend over that, just to make sure this second color spice is also got like soft edges ready for the next color. I'm going to use another fluffy blending brush. This one's a little bit more tapered. And I'm going to take the color Universal. Hit pan on it because I love it so much. Start blending the edges of that spice shade. And I'm gonna really bring it in here and sort of start blowing this area out, making it super smoky. Like I said before, just going back into each shade, just going back with that muddy color and just redefining like this area. Taking the spice shade. And then going back in with the universal shade. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Now it looks like I got punched in both eyes. Super smoky, super brown, love it. As I was doing the second eye off camera, I am sort of starting to feel like I want a little bit of black on the lash line only, which from memory, that's exactly what I did that day. It also helps mask the lash strip that I'm putting on later as well. So I'm just taking an angle brush. I'm just gonna run this along the lash line. I'm also going to tight line underneath my eyes, just in this waterline here. Helps blend um, the lashes as well. I've got this brown one here. It's in the color Espresso and it's just the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. Grab a makeup wipe and wipe under my eyes. Just getting rid of all that fallout. All right, I'm gonna jump into skin now. I'll do my eyebrows after my foundation. So foundation, I've got actually a sample here of the Sephora Collection Glow, Glow Perfection Foundation. Um, it looks like that. That's what the bottle looks like when you get it. I'm a sample hoarder. I have so many samples in my drawer here. Um, I love them so much. So if I'm not sure about a product, I'll just simply get a sample and test it out. That's what I'm gonna do today for my foundation. So they come like that. I've got two shades. I don't think either are really gonna match me at the moment because we've come out of winter and I haven't tanned at all. I might just try the beige for now. All right, I'll just put this. Yeah, it's neither are my color, but just roll with it. Hair is cray. I mean, this is nice foundation, don't get me wrong. It's quite glowy, definitely. But um, it's actually making my nose quite dry. Yeah, it's a little bit drying on my nose, so it clings to all the dry spots, which foundation doesn't really do to me. But all good, we'll just work with it. Next, I'm gonna go on with concealer. I'm just gonna be using a trusty old Tarte Shape Tape in Fairlight Neutral. I'm 
I look more alive now. I'm gonna be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I quickly do the brows. Last time you saw me, I would have had really crazy eyebrows, and since then I have plucked them. So I think they all deserve a round of applause. My poor eyebrows. All right, let's do the under eyes. So I'm basically gonna do the same um, three colors that I use on the top, on the bottom. I'm gonna be taking more of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna place this under my eyes just to catch any fallout and then I'll brush it away after. Woo, smoky as. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same brown eyeliner in my waterline. Okay, I'm gonna put on some lashes. These are Lashed Co by Kate. Style is Miss Rio. They're not too, too crazy, but they still give a little bit of length and fluff to your eyes, but they're not like so extreme. You can see they look like that. So while I wait for the lash glue to dry on those lashes, I'm just gonna be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I'm also gonna set my skin really quickly with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna put these lashes on and I'll be right back. As always, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass Ambient Light Bronzer. This is so pretty, this one. Just warm up my face. Pull a bronzer. I'm just gonna be using my favorite blush at the moment, which is the Jouer. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Becca Champagne Pop. Just use a little bit of this because seriously, a little goes a long way. I've learnt. Don't want to be seen from space. Alright, I've just put some earrings in, taking my hair out to look a little bit more presentable. For lips, um, that day I used the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lip in the shade Wifey. All right guys, and this is the finished look. So let's keep it going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope maybe you learned something new from this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of different videos coming out and I've also got two Christmas covers coming soon. Um, they will be coming out in December. So I'm really excited for that. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. Yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. And we don't ever have to